Hey guys, Eileen here, um, and I had a few things I wanted to share with you. First of all, this card. I use my new um, Prima Craftsman 6x6 paper pad, if you can see the paper. Um, I finally got to use it, yay! <laughs> um, the image is saturated canary, and they were having a challenge to use these colors, so I had to enter because I... Um, recently discovered their stamps and I'm so in love it was they were so me that I just had to um, here's her and here's her little face <laughs> and um, I did some shadowing under the eyes as well and I'm gonna put the um, link down below for the blog post where I'm gonna post this so you can see photos cuz I know the iPad doesn't have like the best quality for taking videos. This is from Scrap Mats Laser Cut Chipboard. And these are just some old charms from Kane Company. And this is a tab bunch I have from McGill. And this is also Prima. And then as you can see I stitched on um, the corners uh, or on the edges of both of the papers. And um, did a little bit of misting. But I colored her up with Copics using Express It, you know, paper as usual. And then here's the inside for writing a message and then just a little bit from the same paper pad. So I hope you guys like it. And um, since these were the colors, I did a little bit of like green highlights in her hair, which match her eyes and some of her outfit and um, her shoes and stuff. So that's the card. And um, let me show you what I got from Seven Kids College Fund. Um, I think that's my first order with them. And I just made a small order, but I had to do it. And I'll put the link down below in case you guys are interested. But here's what I got. Yay! <laughs> so this was a digital image that I just printed out and did. But, you know, I love my rubber stamps. And Saturate Canary does have some rubber stamps available. And um, I went ahead and ordered them from Seven Kids College Fund. So I had to get her. It's a little sketchy fairy, um, and she has a Copic marker. And how fun would it be to do this with like ink blots all over or something like that? Something very artsy and fun. So she was super cute. And here's the back. Look, they're blue. It's blue rubber. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw blue rubber before, but um, I thought that was really cute. I was surprised it was blue because I'd never seen that before. But I like it. So. And I got this one, Windy Day. How cute is that? So they're good size, like a normal size for a stamp. Um, let me see, let me compare really quick. They're a little bit smaller than how I printed her out, but um, you know, they're a good size for as far as rubber stamps go. And then here's her. It's a bigger package, but the size, the actual size of the stamp is the same. But this is Circus Trixie, and I just loved her. She has like a little heart on her um, cheek, and ballet slippers with her like elegant legs, and a large hoop she's standing in. So I just thought it would be so pretty with like different circle theme or whatever. Or you could even get rid of the circle and just have her just standing there by herself. So I got those, and then I wanted to share a couple of other things I recently got uh, while I'm doing a video anyways. Do you guys remember these I got for my October afternoon paper pad? Um, that was actually not the one I had ordered, so I emailed her at your scrapbook supply, and she just kind of like, you know, didn't say much other than, you know, she's gonna take care of it, and then she sent me out the right one. So now I get to have both, which I'm very happy about because this was the one I wanted and I really didn't need that too much, but I'm definitely glad to have it and I'll definitely use it. I just wasn't going to buy it, but so now I get to have both. And here's the one that I wanted originally. This is for the October afternoon, a walk in the park or Woodland Park um, collection. So now I have those two. And then I was recently at Michael's, and I had my kids with me, so I got to get a few things with 50% off, so I got more of that. And these, you guys know I, like, use it a lot, so mine was getting really, to be in, like, really bad shape. And then I found these stamps. They had some Halloween stamps from Recollections, and they were all on sale for, 
uh, really cheap. Let me see. I forget exactly how much, but it was really cheap. Uh, it was only $1.99. And there were a couple other ones that were really cute, but I just went ahead and just got this one. And it's these are rubber stamps, and this one has like some distressed type. And then this is the main reason I got them, and my daughter really liked it too. Like how cute would it be to just stamp little blotches on a card without being afraid that you're going to ruin by just, you know, randomly throwing ink on, on there. Because on there? you have a lot more control with the stamp but you still get the distressed, blotchy look. So I just thought it was so cute, and for $1.99, it was a really, really good deal. Um, and then at AC Moore, with my 50% off, I got this. Um, so the jury is still out. I'll, if you give me one second, I'll try it out. Sorry about that, I forgot to uh, get prepared. So here's the thing. So I wanted to try it out and see if like it even works. So you open it that way and then you have the sheets in it that are the magnetic sheets. And I did check and AC Moore does sell additional magnetic sheets. So let's just try, you know, I have like a ton of these um, metal dies and they're like really hard to store. So let me see how well it works. So, I mean, it's magnetic. My main concern, I guess, was that, I mean, it's not coming off. It seems to be stuck pretty good. And then, you know, I guess, so like the front, the white part is magnetic, and then the back is kind of the backing that's not magnetic, so that you can store several things together and they won't come off. I'm just not 100% sure about how well they actually stick. I, guess I don't want them like falling off, but I guess if I'm careful it should be okay. I know other people come up with their own like metal binders and systems, but um, I don't know. Since I had 50% off anyways, this just seemed a little bit easier. Because I've accumulated a ton of these like, you know, dies like these ones and from MFT. So I just needed some place to put them. So anyways, thanks for watching. And like I said, you know, um, try to check out my blog. Um, tomorrow on Saturday I'll post, I'll post some photos of this card. And it was so fun to color. And I'm definitely going to um, um, obviously color more <laughs> saturated canary stamps. But just wanted to also mention that this one was a freebie. So you can get this for free, and she actually comes with a balloon, but I, you know, cut it out, but, um, so you can get that for free, and then there's another, there are four free ones available right now if you wanted to just try them out without committing, but like I said, Seven Kids College Fund does have the rubber stamps too, so anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon, bye!